and welcome to the Iceman channel. This is an RFID news video. I haven't made one in a while because I didn't think there was very much to talk about. And then I sat down and realized there's kind of much to talk about. And then something dropped today on the internet. You might have seen it. So, made big news. I'm aware of it. You are aware of it. And I thought we were going to cover it. So, today we're going to cover um, HID. Uh, what happened? Dr. Macabre dropped the ball. Yes, that was the big one. Um, Proxmox did uh, not one, but two releases since the last time. Um, Chameleon Ultra. I'm going to cover some things with that one. Some exciting news coming out there as well. And a little bit about uh, RFID NFC communities. The same content. But first of all, I would like to say that watching on YouTube uh, gives you ads. Yes, I'm sorry about that. And if you want an ad free experience, you can either see it on my Patreon without ads or you pay for YouTube Premium. And that's basically what it is. With that said, let's get started. HID did their update. Now, what did they do? I mean, the update came for a reader manager app and nothing happened very much more. I heard that was another update was released now for the reader manager and that now is mandatory. And if you don't update, you will not be able to use it anymore. So they're forcing you to use an updated version of a reader manager. They turned off the config cards and silence. It's just pure silence. But we don't know. Let's see what happens when uh, someone make a talk about it later on. Maybe DEF CON. Who knows? I don't know. But if you know, let me know in the comments below. And, uh, and you know, don't be a stranger. I like to hear things. The big one, though, is Dorma Karma. I don't think you missed it or not missed it, but... Hackers found a way to open any of 3 million hotel key cards locks in seconds. Yes. I know. Awesome hack, isn't it? On uh, IPVM is also covered and they say it's 300,000 doors. Um, so that's a little bit confusing, but anyway, doesn't matter. It's an awesome article. This also features a site called, uh, they're calling this uh, <laughs> they're calling this technique unsaf lock because this is targeted to the soft lock system of Dorma Kaba, which uses MyFair Classic. Now we all know that the MyFair Classic's uh, safe locks MyFair Classic key diversification algo was leaked in December, and following this disclosure, we realized the reason for what was going on. Was they were forcing out on firmware updates to customers and you didn't know why it was happening. Now you know a little bit more. And this is the main reason for uh, that happening. Apparently they started in 2022. Oh, they did. And then uh, Dorma came up with a fix in November 2023. So that took some time. And then the KDF was leaked in December 2023. That's interesting. And uh, yeah, so if you read more about this one here and another one, you will can also see that, you know, it's a nice little video there showing two cards. Same thing. The researchers said that they're not gonna do any kind of uh, disclosure right now, but maybe they do a talk on Defcon Black. Who knows? I, I'm looking forward to see it anyway. What they're hinting here in the article is that we need two cards, one to open the target room and the uh, guessing uh, unique identifiable hotel system. So I think it's a pretty cool find. And uh, the researchers, uh, it's um, Ian Carroll and Leonard Vouters, and I know his buses can fly and We'll see, and Sammy, Sam Curry, some some solid people. They are world class hackers, and and they did some other sets. We did a talk last year, I think it is, or two years ago, about hacking Starlink. So yeah, I'm not uh, what I'm not surprised with uh, their findings. I'd say it's amazing. I'm looking forward to see the uh, research and uh, the talks that we're gonna do. So yeah, I hope you do that as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think, or you join the Discord channel and you can take 
and part of the discussions going on in the hotel systems channel over there. Please do, we always like the discussions. Next thing, Proxmox. Uh, what's going on with Proxmox world? Uh, yeah, well, uh, six weeks ago, uh, or four weeks ago, there was a release. We nicknamed it uh, DEFCON is cancelled because we have humor and we like humor. It was in honor of the name of it. So no, it was not a beef or anything like that. People ask me, it was just good spirit, like we always do. We like to have some good laughs about things. So that's what it was called. It was a good release and came out. And uh, yesterday, um, we made another release. This one is called Senate, because seven is not a name. With this said, Senate, what, what does it do? Let me show you a little bit. Uh, Senate doesn't do very much more than um, it to have some bug fixes, but the most important thing is the most awesome research and the culmination of the work from a uh, researcher called Henry Gubb. Henry Gubb made an implementation of the old key recovery attack for uh, EM4170 or something is called ID48 tags. That is uh, key mobilizers or key fobs for cars. And he made an awesome uh, fix of that old research and he implemented that as a library and then he pushed that to the Proxmox repo and then I had to make a new release when that was out. So that is the reasons why we made another release pretty soon. Next thing, what's going on? Well, Chameleon Ultra. So I talked to the RFID research group, we have some affiliations with, and I heard something that's going to make all of you Chameleon Ultra guys uh, kind of happy. One of the things with Chameleon Ultra, let me just swap over here, is that they promised a lot of things. And if you go to the web page or the GitHub page, you know, is see all this cover of things and you see a lot, a lot of these things that's not implemented yet. And that made a little bit people a little bit less sad. And what I heard is that they are going to implement all this LF stuff uh, the upcoming month. So all this LF reading and emulation and cloning and all that stuff there, it's going to be implemented on Chameleon Ultra. That means it's going to have a, a super exciting times for that little device as well. Finally, RFID and NFC community at same content for I was asked by Jupiter and Pope if I wanted to do it because the previous runner of that one wanted to do another thing, bring another community into it. And I applied for it, see what happens. And I'm kind of excited. With that said, smash that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel and you know, become a patron. And thank you all my patrons for all this that you're supporting me. And uh, I spent out. Good one.